Hello and welcome to Mark's Miniature Monday. I'm here with James and I'm going to allow him to introduce this miniature because the name is a bit of a nightmare and he's, uh, he's memorised this. Oh God, I'm on the spot now. He is on the spot. Uh, yes, uh, we're looking at a Trigard Miniatures Trident Designs AWI 40mm figure here. So these are the, mm -hmm. uh, they're designed for Spanish, uh, but they're also suitable for kind of colonial American as yeah. well. So a very cool figure. The really cool for you. I, I genuinely enjoyed painting this, and it was it was a nice change getting to paint something which wasn't either twenty eight mil or you yeah. know that kind of general size. Yeah, they've got a really extensive range actually, mm -hmm. and uh, keep adding to it. I think they've got cavalry on the way and stuff for these. That'd as be well, interesting. I'd be intrigued so. to see how they uh, what they do with the horses. Yeah, that'd be quite cool. Um, but yeah, so I mean, for observation post, which is where we look at new stuff. Mm. We started to give Mark some of the bits from it so that he can apply his hobby skills. Got a bit of a play around with them. Yeah, so, uh, and that's what you've done on this one. Yeah, and you've done some cool stuff. I mean, I think you're going to keep working on this and do a base eventually. Mm. But for now, let's talk about the painting. The what painting, I've gone for. yeah. So this miniature, it, obviously, you can see that there's a lot of white, and when you're painting white. You, it can be a challenge. Anyone that's painted lots of white in a model will know how problematic it can be. It's a scary one for a it, lot of It can people. be quite scary, yeah. yeah. So the first thing I had to decide was how to paint it naturally, or to paint it with a bit of pop in a more impressionistic approach. And I'm a, I'm a big fan of colour, so I went for a more impressionistic style. Yeah, I mean, do you want to sort of, when you say that, what do you mean between those two approaches exactly? Because yeah. Okay, so the more natural uh, approach, if you just look at your own clothing, if you're wearing anything white, then you'll see that the shadows, greys, beige, is that kind of thing. Yeah. Whereas when you consider kind of colour theory, when you're looking at whites, you can paint them with blues, maybe a bit of purple in there, and uh, you really add some depth and some cooler colours into there in the shadows, as sure. opposed to just going for greys, which... You know, it's perfectly fine in an army, and when you're painting uh, an entire army's worth of miniatures, but when you're painting an individual miniature like I was here, you can go for it. You can really be quite expressive. Yeah, so trying. it's kind of different saturations, different colour palettes into what you do. Yeah, it? very much so. Um, so, obviously, I went for, as you can see there, a more blue tone, so a teal colour. And the reason why I went with teal, ultimately, is because of the other uh, kind of primary colour that we've got in there, which is this red tone here. And I used a colour wheel, which dead easy to get hold of. Just, just Google colour wheel and you'll and see what, yeah. what they are. And simply, all you do is look at the colour, and look what's opposite it, and you go, there you go, that's your contrasting colour. It's so straightforward, and it just makes miniatures pop. It's dead straightforward, so yeah, don't, don't be afraid of doing, using that. And uh, so the opposite colour to this red was uh, teal blue. So there you go, it's a nice cool colour. Yeah. Went for it in the shadows. And it puts that balance across the figure, helps the eye go, ooh, this feels nice. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. that, that, that was the aim. Yeah. I mean, you can see for yourself if you're, if you're looking at what Mark's done. I think it looks pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with I'll it. I'll give it, I'll give it seven and a oh, half. Oh, you're going to grade it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mate, that's seven and a half out of ten. Um, you Once you base it, I'm sure it will go up to a ten. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I have to work with. <laughs> okay, so not only did I add a pop of colour to the shadows, uh, I also wanted to uh, make the the high tones yes. again have a bit more luster to them as well, and uh, and. You know, He's going to be popping around in, in these swampy yeah. areas of Florida, beating yeah, sunshine. Yeah, like the Battle of Pensacola and stuff like there that. There you go. He's yeah. cleared in his research on this one. <laughs> and uh, so uh, just a, a slight hint of yellow onto these, primarily these top parts. Yes. But also you can see just a little hint on some of the low parts as well. And uh, it's not obvious. It's not something which you look at the yeah. miniature and go, oh my God, that's a yellow miniature. No, no, but it, it does enough, right? It, 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 it just makes it look a... Yeah, the eye just detects it. Tricks it tricks the eye. It tricks going, the eye. Oh, it's in, it's in sunlight. Yeah, there you go. And yeah. you, can, you can apply that to bridges of noses or bald, brows, bald heads and things. So it's a good little tip. Yeah, ye yellow, thin, yellow right? glazers. Very thin yellow glaze. Don't go overboard. Yeah. Just apply one coat. As soon as you apply a second coat, it then starts to look yellow. Yes, So just sure. keep it at that. that Tons minimum. of water with that as well and just very little on your brush and just make sure it's a controlled applica a application. Exactly, exactly. An application. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So one of the other features which I really enjoyed painting on this miniature was the uh, the headpiece uh, on the other side, on the reverse side. Um, this was a challenge, obviously, as you can see. It's it's quite small, this freehand detail, detailing they've got on here. Yeah. And even before I started painting it, the challenge was finding an actual Re reference piece. Yeah. Um, I'd seen 
images hinting that there was something on, on the back of this headpiece, um, but nothing which was an obvious, this is what was on there. Sure. Um, so there's a little bit of, uh, of make-believe. Okay. You know, I, I kind of went with my own imagination. But informed. Um, make but believe. informed make-believe, yeah. yeah. So I got general shapes, crowns on there. Obviously, this was still when, when Spain had a royal family that was prominent, obviously. And uh, so you've got a little crown there and some detailing on yeah. there. And I kept it relatively simple. Um, some of the reference images which I was able to find, th there was far more colour in there, there were silvers and, and so forth. But I kept it at a, a kind of gold, yellow tones, sure. um, which works really well with the, with the red anyway. Yeah. Um, so you can, you, you know, if, you, if you're feeling brave and you wanted to go for it, go crazy. Um, if you want to paint something such as this, um, yeah, I if, kept if it. If you're not feeling brave, there are alternative head options which have there, like there are. tricorns and helmets yeah. which won't have that big bit on the back so you can just not worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. But I think you should be brave. Always be brave. Always Push be yourself brave. as a painter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so so yeah that was really fun to paint and my biggest tip when painting a, any freehand is and I think James knows this one. Pointy brush. Pointy brush. Pointy not brush. tiny brush but a pointy brush. Yeah. yeah. So don't think that you need to get the size quadruple zero to paint no. something. Uh, it's actually the worst thing you can do, really, because you can your yeah. paint will dry in a split second on the brush, yeah. and then you've got no point left. Yeah, and, and then when you're trying to paint with dried paint, you end up mashing the brush against it and making an absolute yeah. pig's ear of everything. You'd be better so, off painting with that pointy stick. Do you know what? <laughs> I would advise painting with this metal stick as opposed to a triple or a quadruple zero yeah. brush. And one day I'll come on to some of my tips of painting with cocktail sticks, which are sharpened. So uh, we're going to whittle some cocktail sticks. We're going to whittle some cocktail sticks and we'll do this. Sounds good. Um, but even a cocktail stick whittled down is better than a quadruple zero, double zero kind of size brush. We apologise to the man manufacturers of tiny brushes. But I don't. You're all con men and liars. <laughs> con men, there's absolutely no purpose for them. <laughs> absolutely no purpose. No. Okay. So, um, yeah, there we go. Really interesting miniature to paint. One final thing which I'd like to talk about is the uh, skin tone which I painted on this individual. And uh, so I went for a darker skin tone, uh, which represents the fact that the Spanish military did utilize um, individuals from, from varying parts of the world, yes. not simply the Iberian Peninsula. Um, so, potentially, I may have incorporated the wrong uniform type on this one. Yeah, um, neither of us are experts on the American War of Independence, so... Yeah, um, but I did locate some reference materials which did have individuals with a darker skin tone in this uniform. Yeah. Uh, but again, the, very, the, the accuracy of those, it's, yeah. it's always difficult to, to determine in that yeah. sense. Um, but I really enjoyed painting, and I think it contrasts well with the, with the uniform It as does, well. yeah. Uh, it adds a bit more intrigue to the miniature. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, uh, yeah, so there you go with that one. I genuinely enjoyed painting it. All right, so Mark's talked you through some of his painting there. I gave him an arbitrary rating of what I thought of the figure, which was kind of cruel of me. But we're going to find out exactly what people think of the figure because you're going to base this up. Mm -hmm. And just for curiosity's sake, we're off to Salute soon. We're actually recording this before Salute. Mm. It'll be out after Salute. You're going to enter the figure into Salute in the I am. historical single miniature category. Yeah. So we'll see what they think about it. And who knows? Ho maybe, hopefully maybe more than a seven. Like, we'll do well. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so that that will if if Mark happens to win something, which probably unlikely because other people have spent days and weeks and years weeks, doing as, their as opposed to a couple of days. Yeah, but yeah, we'll we'll let you know. Um, if you'd like to see more of our videos, click that subscribe button and ring the alert bell. Let us know what you think in the comments, and uh, we'll see you next miniature Monday. This video has been brought to you by WI Prime War Games Illustrated Magazine's online members club. View more videos or find out more about WI Prime by following these links.